welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another NECA Toys cartoon TMNT video. Today, we are going to be checking out the second version, but it's really the first incarnation if you watch the cartoon in chronological order. This is Punk Leonardo and Punk Raphael, and it does have some gorgeous cartoon artwork. I always love seeing that on the box. On the back side, the usual, a little bit of the same old write-up. You get to see all the characters that you may or may not already have in your collection. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode, and like I said, they are starting to hit Target store shelves now. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new NECA Toys cartoon at TMNT, the Target Store exclusive Punk Leonardo and Punk Raphael version 2. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging, and realistically, if you look at it, you already have these characters if you got the first punk set. It's kind of an accessory set, although you do get a few extra hands, which is always nice. There's four between the two that already have two, so there's really eight. But you get a lamp, and I like the lamp itself. I think that's a cool design. It's really great if you have the sewer layer, but the black line work could have been so much better. And that is honestly a rare miss for NECA toys, especially with this cartoon line. It's always very crisp, very clean. I like that the cord is somewhat of a separate piece in a way. You can also kind of heat it up and get it going the direction that you want it to go. But the colors are overall very nice. And then you have a little Pookie or Ozito, a little teddy bear. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this is Michelangelo's. This has a lot better paint in terms of the black line work than the lamp, but it's a nice little accessory for the TMNT, including a cartoon bat, very simplistic, has just a little bit of paint around the base, and then you have another skateboard. It's got different colors this time around. It looks like grain wood on the bottom. I like that feature about it, and then you have the trucks and the wheels, and all four wheels spin, so that's a nice touch. You do get a pizza box, and I remember the first iterations all came with a pizza box, but the box always stayed open. It didn't have a hinge, but that's changed and you get a pizza that you can take out open close at your leisure that is pretty darn cool and i love that it's just very simplistic and it says pizza right there on the top now you do get the same old turtle communicators one that's open and one that is closed eventually i would love to see them tackle a working turtle communicator heck i would even love to see them do that as a prop replica, that would be awesome. Please do that, NECA Toys. You also get some more videotapes. You got purple and you got green. So again, if you have the accessory set and you have the layer, it's just a few more videotapes for the old setup. And then you get another grocery bag with some different colored groceries. This is about the third, fourth incarnation of this. Sometimes they're different, sometimes they have vegetables, but it's always nice to have some extra ones, especially with the inevitable kitchen play sets that I hope is a coming. These will look great on the table and all around the layer. But with the Leonardo figure, this is where the video is going to get really short because we've already taken a look at the punk turtles and now we have this first version where you first saw all these punk iterations. It is a brown coat, at least that's what we all think it is. Maybe like an orangey brown, which they kind of have going on, which is totally fine. You never really see a clear version of Leonardo from that episode. In my past video of the Punk Turtles, some of the glasses were loose. And yes, they can come off, but you really have to pry them off. So you kind of run the risk of snapping them. But there are pupils underneath. So if you want to remove the glasses, you can totally do that but you're gonna have the holes on the sides of the head. It's gonna be the usual articulation, nothing crazy. The joints on him and the arms were a little bit stuck. The knees, the feet, everything was pretty fluid. But overall, you got some nice paint. You have a different iteration, a different look from the cartoon, now in action figure form. So again, if you want it, he's not a bad toidle after all. In the case of Raphael, Raphael has his white snake jean jacket rhinestones, whatever he's got going on. It has some nice details to it, but I will point out this. And again, this is kind of a rare miss for NECA toys, especially with their cartoon TMNT line. From the zipper to, let's say, the rhinestones, they're gray in the cartoon on the white jacket, of which that is not painted. I really wish 
that they would have done that. It's the same exact articulation as Leonardo, nothing different, nothing changed, the same exact figure, just different colors this time around from version one to now version two. You can see that the glasses on one side of my Raphael are loose. I'm not gonna pry these off, I'm not gonna damage anything, it's not worth it to me. But like I said, you can clearly see, if I kind of move that a little bit, that there are pupils underneath. So again, if you so choose to remove these glasses and you just want some unmasked turtle heads, yeah, you can definitely do that. The legs, the knees, everything was pretty fluid, nothing really to heat up. Go easy on the arms to begin with. You should be good to go. And finally, we see all the punk TMNTs lined up for the Leonardos and the Raphaels. Like I said, it's just a color difference. The tennis shoes are painted a little bit different. Other than that, it's the same figure. So unless you're a cartoon TMNT completionist, much like myself, there's really not a whole heck of a lot of new here and nothing here that I'm going, oh my God, this is amazing. It's just like, yeah, here's another addition to your cartoon TMNT line. To have them all lined up, that's pretty cool as well. Although in kind of looking at it again and kind of seeing Michelangelo, makes me feel like they need to darken his jacket now. Like instead of just being gray, more of a, a black jacket overall. But no, you know what? Please, we're, we're good on the punk TMNTs. This is great. We're done. Please, please, no more. But to go from the cartoon, and this is always my favorite part when NECA Toys brings out these new characters, is that you can beautifully recreate the scene of them just kind of dancing. And yes, like I said, you never see Leonardo. He's tucked away behind Michelangelo and Donatello. You basically see an arm, a head, and a leg. So... That is going to wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new NECA Toys cartoon at TMNT, the Punk Leonardo and Punk Raphael version 2 sets. If you have the sewer layer, you got some new accessories. You got some cool accessories for just every day standing around too, if you so choose. There is nothing crazy. There's nothing overly exciting. But again, if you are a cartoon TMNT completionist then most likely this will be right up your alley. If you already have the Punk TMNT from the first four pack, you're good to go. But just keep in mind, in true NECA Toys cartoon TMNT fashion, they always put the best into their products, and it really shows with this pack. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything cartoon TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, we just need Tempestra, Tattoo, Ray, Maybe that new shredder, he looks pretty cool. We, we got plenty more coming. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.